Morning, guys. <clears throat> like my business attire? <clears throat> sure, a lot of y'all have the same one. <clears throat> Anyhow, <clears throat> what's going on right now? Got this a couple days ago in prayer. Everything shaking, seemingly be taking, but it's making. This is what the Lord spoke to me. He said that the shaking and the taking away of idols in our lives is because he's making us in his image. And it's pollution, guys. It's trash. It's just stuff that we don't need because it's spots and wrinkles and blemishes and unpure and he's making his bride pure and holy and acceptable in his sight so and then he gave me the scripture the next day so i'm just kind of read you know read a couple parts of it and then just kind of let you guys kind of chew on it it's first john he said go to first john these were in, some of this was in dreams the shaking taking and making was in a dream and so was the scripture but then I woke up and then some of it was in prayer too. So it was kind of a combination. But 1 John 2, 1 through 12. My little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. 4. He said unto them, I know him and keepeth not... Four, I mean, I'm sorry, two, three. And hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that says I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. A little brutal here, guys, but. But he that, he that loves his brother abideth in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him that's 10 and 11 but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not he goeth because the darkness hath blinded his eyes guys it's time to lift up the body the shaking is for a reason just look around it's not time for business as usual. It's not time to restart up. You know, there's a reason why the shaking came and most of the church is just kind of semi-dissolved. They're still there and they're gonna try to come back. But he wants us to build our house upon the rock and not upon the sand. It's an, he's, there's a, he told me, he said, there's a, take away the word revival movement all this stuff that we put out there because it's going to be an outpouring of the new wine and these old wine skins that we had this old religious mindset some of it is church and even become idols guys church i'm not saying don't gather that's not what i'm saying because i re look at some of my posts on facebook okay and several people Pray about who you gather with, though, and what you're doing. It's the why, guys. It comes right down to the crunch time, rubber meets the road. Why are you doing what you're doing? I'm going to put out another message for maybe tonight um, along those lines about the shaking piece, but why did this all happen? But he's taking these idols down, guys, and out of our lives. And just let him go because he wants to make us in his image. So I'm going to kind of end with that. Maybe not. I uh, still got a couple more minutes. So I'll keep this going. Because we're not going to enter in if we've got sin in our lives, guys. I'm not that we know of. That we, can, that we can get rid of. Because it's time to be those five wise virgins, guys. Not the five foolish. And we've been kind of this surrealness. I mean, just look around, guys. 
four weeks ago would if you had told the church world that they're gonna have to shut their buildings down would they have would people have listened if they told you told them that they were gonna have to shut their business down stay at home all this other garbage I get it I want to be respectful I don't want the diseases any diseases to spread but this pandemonium of fear where's it coming from guys not from above And where are all these supposed powerful preachers and churches? And man, they, they went into hiding. And now they're going to come back. They've restacked a little bit of their money and they're going to come back. Guys, you need to, we really need to take retrospect and look at. But we need to bring it before prayer and supplication and wait between the porch and the altar and get this right. Pray for one another, uplift one another. Don't hate our brothers. But don't join in with them when they're when they're when they're in adultery and sin and just kind of just doing whatever. And then, you know, he's purifying it. That's why this storm's coming, guys put out there in, on 8-11 to 9-11. Look at it, guys. I'm not making this up. To send, that's one of my other messages, the sensationalism of it. Everybody wants to be a sensational coronavirus prophet. And they said this and saw that and did this and did that. I just want to be his vessel. That wine skin. He kind of trashed what we thought was normal guys that was the shaking and what we think is taking is really him stripping and separating us aside because he didn't you know it's better to enter in with the, with one eye or bald than if that's what's than if that's what's gonna keep you from entering in the sin the member of your body so we need to really 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 this 5 a.m. prayer is really dealing with me about the, the importance of it. So I'll poke my head out. He's getting me up at four and four, before five. And he said, prepare for the battle. The battle of prayer, guys. We're gonna win this. Our, this warfare is not gonna be won in the flesh and blood. It's gonna be won in the prayer room, guys. At the altar. We all need to repent and change and turn. This is not a, hey, I'm way up here and you can just, you know, listen to my message and man, I gotta do the same exact thing, guys. No respect to persons. And so do you. And that's what got us where we're at. All this better than mentality. Now it's, you know, we thought the the church had power trip problems. Look at the world. Guys, they get a little bit of a bug and everybody's gone crazy and there's all these dictators from mayors to judges to governors to a bunch of hogwash. And it's a distractive, he said, renew our minds. It's time to turn back to the Bible, get on our knees, the cross to the blood of the lamb through the cross to god who's your source it should be god jesus the holy ghost and his word it's time to turn guys repent laminate weep not to just reopen the doors of the church and swirly twirly orchestra and bands and rock and roll and everybody's on stage and everybody's just going to blast through this and the economy's just going to go back and we're going to be back in a bull market. It's kind of bull, honestly, guys. And God, we can't hoodwink God anymore. We thought we could. We slapped the label, Christian label, and God we trust on the almighty dollar, which is an idol, guys. Why do we call it the almighty dollar? Why is it cash is king? There's this, but what king? There's, when he told me that America has more idols than India, like, man, God, how can that be? Just look around, guys. This one's free, and I'm going to end with this because that's the shaking. 
and seemingly tanking, but it's not because it's making us into his image. The world, is, there's always a false. The world and the devil has got this false narrative, you know? Oh, stay safe. Oh, stay home. Oh, don't go to work. Oh, your job's not essential. You know, that's the same thing that, I, that the church has been portraying. That's why people haven't been going to church. This better than mentality. I got an antidote to, to that one. Read Matthew 20, guys. We're all the same. I don't care if you're the pastor with a million people in your church or you're the, the homeless guy sitting at the, in the front of the church that is a doorkeeper. Or gal. Same. We got to get we got to get over ourselves, guys. Especially in the ministry. You should honestly If you read the job description, you probably don't want to be a pastor or a prophet or a apostle or a, you know, everybody wants to be one. They want to be the Pope, the apostle, the prophet, so they don't have to listen to, to anyone, including God. Those old wineskins are gone, guys, because they won't hold the wine. They're going to burst. He wants the new wineskin. The Joel's army is coming forth. Maybe the least expected people you think. Because he wants the glory. Pull on a Gideon moment, dear guys, in time. Why did he do that? What did he tell them? So that you wouldn't win the battle and then you think that you did it. Israel wouldn't win the battle and think that they did it. He wants the glory. Not our church building, ministry, move, awakening, whatever. YouTube channel, followings, whatever. He just wants our obedience, guys. It's very, very important in this shaking time. Because there is a storm coming. God, I'm going to end with this. Okay, I've got so much to share, but I am going to end. Look at it. 100 foot tall flames. America's on fire for a month. Look it up. Guys, I'm not making this up. A lot of people are having dreams and visions. It's Joel's army, guys. And we just need to be those vessels of obedience. But it's not going to be a destructive fire. It is for those that don't choose. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. That's where the prayer's coming in. It's so important. And just getting on our knees and laminating. What does He want? Not what do we want? This ain't Burger King anymore, guys. It's not going to be a drive through church. It's not going to be a, you know, the idols are coming down. I'm going to end with this one, guys, okay? This is, uh, and I'm not going to, May 1st, I'm going to start really, really putting this stuff out. Because He gave me a timeline and it's some. And so I just got to be obedient. This one's kind of free. Look it up. The holiday idols. Nobody wants to hear that. But we've got to get rid of them, guys. The things that have been plaguing this us as a, as a body of Christ. Polluting and diluting us. That's why there was no power in this last mess. Didn't have the goods, guys. We say we do. Oh yeah, yeah, I still hear a lot of testimony and there's some good people out there and there is some good testimony. And some people do have the, they have the power, but not the way that we thought we did. Because it was just misplaced sensationalism and just Shazam and just, man, there was a lot of stuff that was false. That's where the shaking's coming. why he searched their heart the holiday idols guys i'm gonna end with this it's just one of many there's so many if there if we have more idols in india this is just one of many okay don't know the date i'm not going to get into a debate of it but christmas we celebrate the birth of christ
I replaced with Santa Claus and a Christmas tree and going shopping and Black Friday and all the hoop and holler and stuff. You have Christmas services on Saturday, or Christmas is on Sunday so that people can go do their, their things and their holidays and their cooking and their, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, the, with, with a lot of the celebration of it, but we sensationalized it, taking Jesus out of the equation of it, guys. So yeah, there is something wrong with that. Then go to Easter. And you read a lot of stuff about how it's pretty paganistic, honestly. The Easter bunnies, they have baby bunnies. They don't lay eggs like a chicken. And Easter is people are looking, at, you know, wanting to get out of service so that they can go fill plastic eggs with money and a little bit of candy and watch their kids and laugh. And, you know, that's, that's how the holidays have become. They become idols, guys. It's a resurrection. Of, we're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Instead, we're chasing, we're buying plastic eggs all over the yard for our kids. And then Halloween, that's the Lord's Prayer. Hallowed be thy name. And we've changed it. Oh, it's just, it's fun. It's just, you know, you dress up. What do they dress? What do people dress up as? Witches, warlocks, demons. Sorry, guys. These idols gotta go, that's the shaking. I didn't do it, God did. You didn't do it, your ministry didn't do it, none of us did it. it. Look around guys, it cratered and crashed because those old wine skins got to go. They weren't gonna hold the new wine. The outpouring that's coming, the Joel's army Get prepared. That's where the weeping and mourning and laminating at the porch and the altar. God, my, my wine skin was a mess, God. The things that I thought were had some value have none. The things that are important have, aren't. That's the taking. Because he wants to make us in his image. So guys, let's dump the trash. Time to take out the stinky trash. All of us, me included. Love our brothers. Thank God. We can't we can't be hoodwinking God anymore anymore, guys. Like I said, the Christianese, we think we are such a godly nation. We put in God we trust on a on a dollar bill. It's an idol. Look at it. Look at the dollar bill itself and all the weird stuff on it. I posted on Facebook some Christian company, supposed Christian company selling face masks with scriptures on it. That's some song. Man, not funny anymore, guys. The, the stuff has got to go. These idols have got to go because he's a jealous God. We can't build our house upon this sand anymore because there's a storm coming, guys. It's going to, you know, the rubber's going to meet the road. We've got to decide. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. It's not, it's not game time anymore, guys. It's not a game, guys. The real deal. Look around. They're not pretty apparent. Love you guys. And pray for one another. And if you see your brother in a fault, go to him, lift him up, talk to him, whatever. whatever pray about it. Whatever the Lord tells you to do, just time to be obedient, guys. And not all this sensationalism that the church had become. Pretty much gone, but there's, you know, now's the opportunity to do it right, to not let it back in, to really pray about where you're gathering, who you're gathering with, and what, what the, the why behind it, why are people doing what they're doing, and when you see that, run from it, if you see the error, if people aren't going to change, don't associate with them. Still can love them. Pray for them. 
let's uplift the body of Christ. Because unfortunately, guys, these idols that are coming out, not everybody's going to make it in. And not nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear this big open pasture of everybody's, everybody's going to make it in. Man, guys. Why is there so many scriptures that say that say the that say the that say that it's not gonna happen? Why isn't there five wise fools and five wise and five foolish virgins? Why does that say they're gonna knock at the we're gonna knock at the door and say we raise the dead, heal the sick, cast out devils in your name, and you said depart from me for I never because I never knew you, your work was of iniquity. Why is that even in there, guys? But yeah, we wanna just say it's just that's open, you know, the pasture and everybody's just kind of Psalms 23, fall into the, you know, green pastures and just kind of just fall into heaven. I'm not the one doing the shaking, guys. I'm not the one doing the supposed taking. He's taking away these idols as false, falsehood that's been portrayed as the gospel. No more. Oh yeah, some of them are still going to kind of re-pop back up. Just because they can, because they got a little bit of cash. But Joel's army's coming forth, guys. Not gonna be able to stop it. And it's gonna be an outpouring. But into the new wineskins, you guys.